This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching How To Jetty Programming. Today I'm joined with James who's going to go ahead and show us a little bit more on how to program your Jetty Duplex 2.4 transmitter. Hey guys, James with the Spree Model. Welcome back to the second part of our basic setup video for your DS14, DS16, and DC16 Jetty Duplex radio system. Uh, where we left off before, we had reached the servo setup screen, so we're going to go ahead and hit menu, hit the select function on model, hit the select function on servo setup, and we'll go through this screen real quick for you. Uh, most people are used to having to hunt around to find some of these functions. Jetty has been really smart and combined all of the servo setup stuff into one screen. So your sub trims, max pause, max negative limits, um, all of that's on the same screen as well as the reverse function, servo balancer, uh, and the delay function are all found on this screen. Uh, if you hit the select button uh, where it's highlighted at engine, you can change that for each of your uh, functions that you've assigned for this particular model. Remember we're still working with our model one uh, but elevator, rudder, ailerons, all of that's here so basically once you have the one you want you hit the function button again that allows you to scroll down through each of those uh, functions on the screen sub trim, max positive, max negative, max positive limits and max negative limits uh, and the servo reversing like I say is also found there. Um, this would allow you to Sub trim your surfaces to get everything nice and square. It'll allow you to set the travel limit so that you didn't have anything binding. Uh, it'll allow you to reverse the servos if you have uh, them wired incorrectly or if something's not operating in the right direction. Uh, typically when you run two flap servos, that type of thing. Uh, going from there, we're going to go ahead. That would be the last step in the basic model setup. We're going to go ahead and exit out of the servo setup. We're going to escape out of the model menu get back to the main menu we're going to select fine tuning and hit that function button uh, this is where you'd find your things like your flight modes digital trim flight mode trim and of course your dual rate and exponential I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to set up dual rate and expo on the model uh, very easy to do I'm going to go ahead and scroll down the dual rate and expo hit our function switch uh, you'll see on the, the dual rate and expo screen, it lists all the available functions, the dual rate percentages, and the expo percentages that are listed. Um, all you need to do is scroll down to each of those functions, hit the select button, and that'll open a screen for each of those individual functions. So ailerons is the first one. We'll go ahead and open that up. You take a look. Uh, you'll see that lists ailerons as a global setting, position one, rate, expo, and the switch. Um, this particular setup, we have our, our dual rate set up on our SH switch, which is our top forward switch on the right hand side. Uh, there's two positions there. Uh, very simple to change the expo. Using the scroll wheel, we'll leave the highlighted box where it says ailerons, go down to rate, S hit the function button once, hit it again, that'll highlight the, the actual percentage. And now as you scroll down or scroll the wheel up, you'll see that percentage change. Uh, say position one is our takeoff mode or, our, or you know, our mode we want the plane to be a little more timid in. So we're going to go ahead and set it at 80%. Go down to, now if you want it to move down to expo, you just escape out. So it highlights the entire box. Scroll the wheel to exponential. Hit it once. The function button hit the function button twice that'll allow you to add a percentage so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna add 20 percent expo to that and again you can hit the function button once hit the escape button that allows you to scroll out now you'll notice that if we switch between position one and position two uh, that would be our dual rate one and dual rate two uh, position one is 80 percent with 20 percent expo position two is 100 percent throw with zero percent expo both of those controlled by switch SH. Now, if you remember, if you want to change the switch, uh, you scroll the wheel down to switch, hit the function button, it opens the select input control screen. You can hit clear and reassign that to, to the switch of, of your selecting. Uh, so this time we're going to go ahead and choose switch SB. Now you'll notice switch SB has been activated for our dual rate. I'm going to go ahead and clear that and put us back on switch SH. And there we are. 
hit OK, and that takes us back. You want to go through this for each of your surfaces, elevator, elevator aileron, rudder. Uh, typically, you won't use that for throttle, but if you need to, it is there, and you have the ability to do that. Uh, once you're finished setting your, your DR and Expo, you can hit click OK. That'll back you out to the fine-tuning menu. Uh, in this menu, you'll also fly, find the built-in snap roll mix, all of your free mix capability, uh, your function curve menu. So if you wanted to add a very specific or custom curve to your aileron or elevator or rudder, uh, you can do that. Once you're in the function curve menu, use the scroll wheel to select the surface you're, you're trying to change. Click the function button. You'll notice that it's now highlighted on the curve. If you hit the function button again, it'll bring up your curve menu. Um, right now, curve type is highlighted. If you click the function button, it'll allow you to change that between a standard or constant curve, or three, five, seven, or nine point curves. Um, you can make adjustments to the actual aileron curves here in that menu as well. We're gonna go ahead and escape out of that screen. You'll also see the flight mode trim and flight modes there. We'll go into those in our sailplane setup video. Uh, we'll do a good demonstration on how those work. If you want to escape out of the menu, uh, this pretty much wraps up your basic setup. If you have any questions on that, feel free to check out the other videos on JettyUSA.com or EspriModel.com uh, or reach out to either one of those avenues for help. Thank you.